So welcome back to day three of starting your own sourdough starter from scratch. It's starting to get a little funky, I'm not gonna lie. So that's a good thing. It still kind of smells like flour, but we do have a lot of bubbles here. Let me show you. Bubbles going on in there. It's a very good sign. And it also, let me see, where's the line here? It also did double, it did fall, but it got up to here and then it fell. You can see those streaks right there where it had fallen. But it is looking beautiful. It is so active and bubbly. Okay, let's get this thing set. Like last time, we're gonna discard about half of this. So probably to like right here-ish, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not a science. Um, and then feed it half a cup of flour and a quarter cup of water. You might have to add a little bit more water, um, which is totally okay. We want it to be thick pancake batter consistency, okay? That is really funky. I can't get over how funky that smells. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Which is a good sign. It's not a bad thing. We're, we're happy about that. It just... Don't stick your nose in there for very long. Cause... Okay, so we're going to do half cup of flour. Try not to make a mess. Okay. We're going to do... <clears throat> quarter cup of water. Do a little bit more. If you need to add more, it's totally fine. We're just going to mix all of that up. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people are really hard on themselves when it comes to sourdough and they try to make it more scientific than it really is. Um, it's, it's really not that hard. I feel like people like really overcomplicate sourdough and really overthink it and it's really easy you're just mixing flour and water together you just don't make it too serious you know don't make it too complicated it's just just do equal amounts flour and water to what your sourdough is and you'll be fine you don't have to get a heat lamp you don't have to get a heating pad you don't have to get a temperature thing on for on the side of it you don't have to Take the temp of your sourdough starter or your water, any of that stuff. It's it's not that complicated. It's okay. You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna fail, you're gonna have a couple flop loops, but it's gonna taste good still. And it's gonna be okay. If you kill your starter, try again. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more water. Might have been too much. Oh no! What am I doing though? Get all the lumps out! Did you find them? Yeah. Yeah? Let's give it consistency. It is officially doubled in size. Good. Okay, it is the end of day three. I'm gonna do a little smell test because she has doubled in size. Wow. That is like sour and cheesy smelling. It smells really, really ripe. Look at the bubbles. She's starting to get real bubbly. Look at I'm excited to see what she looks like on day seven. And maybe we'll even bake a loaf, too. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four. And we will see what it does tomorrow. I'm super excited. It already doubled in size today. Day three. So day four, it's, it's going to get pretty active, I think. And then by day seven, I think we're going to be baking a loaf. So that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited to... Um, to do that. This is my first time actually making a sourdough at home um, from scratch. I got this big guy right here. I got this from a friend of mine that had started it. Um, I think this one's about a year old now. Um, so I'm pretty excited that I'm making my own for the first time. I did try one time and I killed it because I was being way too scientific with it. I was trying to measure out how much discard to take out. I was trying to measure its 
um, how warm it was in the room, how warm the starter was, how warm the dough was, all these different things. And it just, it got too much and it got a little overwhelming. So I'm trying to dumb it down for everybody a little bit and make it as easy as possible because I've, I've found that it's a really easy thing to do. Sourdough is really easy. You just, you just have to know how to do it. I don't know. Um, yeah, it, like I said, it's really, really easy and super basic. We're just, we're just overcomplicating everything, honestly. So I'll see you in day four. Bye. Yeah, it's super, super bubbly in there. I'm super excited to see what it looks like on day seven of our making a sourdough from scratch at home. Look at all of that. It is doing so good. I am so proud of her. We're going to close this back up.